Hi everyone, this is Pretty Grumpy Bear. Today I'm going to bring you a video about our main antagonist in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Springtrap. We learn a lot more about Springtrap in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, but we also have a lot more questions about it. So here I made a list of the top 10 mystery about Springtrap. Let's see what they are. Mystery 1. Is Springtrap its real name? We have questions about the name Springtrap because it really doesn't sound like a name. After the game is released, this animatronic is actually referred to as Springtrap in the bonus feature. Then we know for sure its official name is indeed Springtrap. But is this the name people in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 universe used to call it? Maybe not. In one of the phone calls, phone guy says somebody moved the Spring Bonnie. That's how the people in the pizzeria call Springtrap, Spring Bonnie. When you think about it, Springtrap is made as a mascot for a kids' restaurant. Of course your name is something kids-friendly. Trap wouldn't be the best name that appeal to parents. However, if it's called a Spring Bonnie like the phone guy calls it, it would make sense. But then why the game refers to it as Springtrap? That may have something to do with the unfortunate event happened to the Purple Man. According to Phone Guy's instructions, Springtrap is not safe because the springs inside it is faulty, and it squeezed the Purple Man to death. That's why after that incident, Spring Bonnie is referred to as Springtrap, because it's very deadly. Mystery 2. Is Springtrap used by the killer? Since Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we learned that the killer used a mascot costume to lure the kids into the diner. We've always assumed that the costume is Golden Freddy, because that's the only costume without an endoskeleton. People can fit in the suit. Also in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Fungai mentioned one of his spared yellow costume is used, which matches Golden Freddy's color. But the introduction of Springtrap changes the assumption, because Springtrap matches these two conditions as well. Not only that, Fungai says the Spring Bonnie has been moved, Someone has used it without authorization. Without a better suspect, I'd say it's the purple man who did it. And he would only use it for one reason, to lure kids in. In fact, at the end of the story mini game, the first thing purple guy think of when he was confronted by angry kid spirits was to hide inside Springtrap. Fung guy explained how you can get into Springtrap in the recordings, and it's a pretty complicated process. It's not something you can do without any knowledge. Purple Man would think of hiding in Springtrap means he has that knowledge. He knows how to get in. Which makes Springtrap more likely the real suits the killer used to kill the children. Mystery 3. When is Springtrap made? Since the phone guy mentioned Springtrap in his recording, which means Springtrap must be made before the death of phone guy in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Which begs the question, when is Springtrap made? We haven't exactly saw Springtrap in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 nor 2, but it has to be in one of these diners, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. There are one more possible scenario though. Fazbear Entertainment could be a big company. That means it's capable to operate multiple diners at the same time. Springtrap could be in a diner that coexists with Five Nights at Freddy's 1 diner, but in a different location. However, that could cause another problem. The dead kid's soul haunted the diner where Springtrap was as shown in the minigame. If there were indeed two diners, then who were possessing the animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 1? Looks like there were more mystery we need to sort through before we can make a conclusion. Mystery 4. Why does Springtrap attack the beta tester? In Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we learned that animatronics would attack the gods because they couldn't tell a human from an endoskeleton. When they saw a person, they would think it's an endoskeleton without this costume, since it's against the rule, so they would try to stuff you into one, unintentionally causing your death. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the animatronics attacked you because they were linked to a criminal database, and someone rigged their facial recognition system, so they would attack any adult they saw to protect the kids. In Five Nights at Freddy's 3 though, we were not given any reason as to why Springtrap attacked the beta tester. Was the beta tester someone he know and he wanted revenge? Springtrap's motive was never explained to us. Mystery 5. 
is someone's corpse in spring trap. I've made a video about exposed spring tissues and blood on spring trap. Back then, I thought it was the phone guy that got stuffed into it. While this is still possible, we now know that another person who definitely died in spring trap, the purple man. He escaped into spring trap and got scrambled by the faulty springs. The purple man's corpse was definitely found inside spring trap. But did the company drag his corpse out and clean spring trap thoroughly? I would say unlikely. After the accident, the only thing the company did was to seal their safe room. I think probably the purple man was all over spring trap. The company can't clean it entirely, and they couldn't just throw away spring trap with flesh and blood on it. So the only way to cover this up was to seal the crime scene once and for all. So very likely, the purple man's corpse is still in spring trap. Mystery six: Why spring trap want to rip his head off? There are some spring trap Easter egg pictures that shows him slowly ripping his own head open. Why exactly did it want to do this? Why would it want to dismantle itself? I can think of maybe one reason. It's trying to remove something inside its suit, the purple man's corpse. We just talked about how purple man can still be in spring trap. If this is indeed the case, then we can understand why spring trap would want to rip its head open to remove anything that doesn't belong in it. The purple man was a filthy child killer. From previous games, we know that animatronics are designed to protect children. Having a child killer inside it must be the last thing it wants. Therefore, it opens its suit, try to remove as much of the killer's remain as possible. Mystery seven: What happened to Springtrap after Five Nights at Freddy's Three? Freddy's fright was burned to the ground after night six. The newspaper says only a few things were left. They'll be put in the public auction, and I believe Springtrap was among one of those things because it was right there in the photo behind the Freddy figurine. If Springtrap was bought by another person. Let's say a collector, and let's say is put in like a museum along with other animatronic spots from different diners collected by this collector, and he needs a guard for this museum. Five Nights at Freddy's Four, maybe. Mystery eight: Is there a toy spring trap? There's an Easter egg picture showing a yellow bunny animatronic, which I'm pretty sure is spring trap, and this look is very cartoonish. Which makes me believe this is a toy version of Spring Trap. If there really was a toy Spring Trap, it has to be made around Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because toy animatronics were only introduced at that time, and within a few weeks they were dismantled. But we didn't see any toy Spring Trap in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But like we talked about before, there could be multiple Freddy vs Freddy's pizza at the same time. Toy Spring Trap was probably in another diner. Mystery nine: Is Springtrap sad? When we slow down Springtrap's jump scare, we can see Springtrap's facial expression more clearly. Before it gets close, its eyelids are lowered, its mouth is half open. This is a sad expression. What makes him sad? And you can see its emotion changes. After he's sad, he widens his eyes. It's like he found something, and that intrigues him. Then he approaches you, closer, to observe you. He looks curious rather than murderous. Is it sad because it's lonely? He's wandering around the diner looking for people, other animatronics, and it found you. So it turned from sad to surprise. Seems like it wants to know who you are. We were not told why Springtrap wanna hurt us. Maybe he really wasn't. He was just trying to know you. Mystery ten: Is Springtrap in previous games? I've gotten a lot of tweets telling me that Springtrap is hinted in Five Nights at Freddy's One and Two. In Five Nights at Freddy's One, there is the picture on the wall, a bunny-shaped animatronic with blackened eyes. In Five Nights at Freddy's Two, there was a paper play design depicts a broken bunny character. People say they are Springtrap. I'm not entirely sure. Both these characters are purple in color. It doesn't match his Springtrap's color, but they do look like Springtrap in some ways. I don't know about this one. I'll have to leave this one for you to discuss. Anyway, this is my top ten mystery about Springtrap. What are your thoughts on them? Leave a comment below. Tell me about it or tweet me. 
My Twitter handle is at PGBGame. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss any Five Nights at Freddy's 3 video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!